Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Albedril. In this video, I'm in front of a Dell Optiplex 7070. As you can see here, a small form factor, so it's very small, it's very portable. So the problem I'm having with this computer is that every time I turn it on, I have this message. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So uh, it says this computer system, the serial number, is protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password. Please type the system or admin password. And as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So we cannot go to Linux or Windows or any operating system that you may have. I cannot go to the BIOS to make any change. So we are kind of stuck. Okay. So uh, we cannot do anything with software. So I'm going to shut down the computer, as you can see me doing right there. We have to do something with hardware. So let's go back to the computer. I'm going to disconnect the power over here. Uh, everything else, you can leave it connected. As you can see, it's dead. You can leave uh, the monitor, the mouse, the keyboard, everything connected. That's it make a difference. So in this kind of models, there is a scrub. Uh, screw in the back as you can see here you can use your phillips screwdriver or your plain head screwdriver but in this case it was loose enough so i can remove it with my fingers so when it's loose uh, you have to take it out push it towards you like i did in the video so it's going to make that sound and we can remove it so this is the the motherboard i'm going to show you around this is the fan for the processor this is the heatsink and the ram here's where the ssd the the operating system goes and uh, as you can see it's very small and also you have a space for a 2.5 ssd as well if you need more storage now we have the cmos battery over here and what we are looking for that it depends on your motherboard and oh i forgot i'm showing you that i'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and i, and I already discharged myself of any static electricity that i might have in my body by touching a metallic case for a few seconds so somewhere on the case you have to look for a jumper and some pins so the first candidate that we can see here is this one so we see a jumper the blue one and 10 pins but not, that's not really the one we want if we go a little uh, a little up, we see these six uh, pins and the two in the middle have a jumper, the blue one. So this is the one we're looking for, okay? So what we need to do is to remove this jumper to reset the BIOS password. So we are going to try to do it with my fingers, but it was kind of a little hard. So I had to change to my right hand. Now with my right hand, I didn't have any problems. So you remove it very carefully. You don't need to use much force. And once that's done, we're going to connect the power back over here. And you see me doing right there. So this is going to be on for a few seconds. After that, I'm going to turn it on. It's not working. Oh, there it is. All right, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Let's go to the monitor. And this is going to go very fast, this message. So I slow it down for you. The password, the hardware jumper is removed to override the system password setting. System password has been erased and password jumper and cannot be changed. Please connect the hardware jumper to perform any changes. So it's telling us what we already did. We removed the jumper. Okay. So once that message goes by, we have access to Windows. That's great. Or if you have Linux, but we have, we are not done yet. I have shut down the computer. Let's go back to the motherboard. I'm going to disconnect it one more time. And now I'm going to put back the jumper. Where is the jumper? Over here, as if you remember, it was the two pins in the middle. So very carefully, we're going to connect it back, just like that, very simple. And now oh, we make sure everything is okay. And now we are going to put back the cover. It's pretty simple to do, as you can, as you see me doing here. And that's it. Well, we have, we are going to secure it uh, with a screw. So once that's done, we are going to, uh, well, I forgot to connect the power. So where's the power? We plug it back. Now let's wait a few seconds and now we're going to turn it on. It's not working. Let's try one more time and there you go. So let's go back to the monitor. Now I see the Dell logo. I don't see any message. I don't see, the, it's not asking me for a password or jumper stuff. So after a few seconds, it's going to load back to Windows or Linux. And that's how you reset the password on this model. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.